Hi there, I wanted to talk about Buffering, the new six episode comedy series uh, on ITV. Buffering stars Ian Sterling, it's also written by him, you'll best know him as the voice of Love Island. Um, it follows a group of 30 somethings living in London. He is a entertainer on a children's channel, works alongside a more popular puppet, uh, but he wants to break away from that. He lives in a sort of unbelievable house that it would seem has been left to a kooky character by her nan after she died. Although it doesn't look like an old lady's house, that's for sure. It looks like a showroom house that they paid some rent on for the production anyway. But, and then he's got a group of friends. Um, he's been having relations with his pro producer, who's an ex-girlfriend. She gets pregnant very early on in the series and there's a sad situation surrounding that. Uh, there's a sort of spiky, tough American girl in there, and there's a couple, one who is a very boring sort of web designer, programmer, and the other one is, the girl is more sort of uh, upset with the stale manner that their relationship seems to have gotten in. I suppose, to quote a Love Island phrase, on paper, this series should work, I think, but in reality, it just doesn't. Um, it's missing something. I think, unfortunately, one of the things is that Ian Sterling is not a leading man. He's a nice looking fella. He's likeable. Um, he's, you know, obviously very nice and comes up very well when he's being interviewed on shows and TV and that, and he's very witty and funny. But as an actor, he, he just didn't bring what he had to bring for this. And it always feels like he's not part of the ensemble. And maybe that's the whole problem with just casting generally. The cast, I don't feel, had any cohesion. None of them felt like they were together. They just felt like a group of characters put in situations together. They were not friends. And it was just a bit, meh. I watched it, it wasn't offensive, it didn't upset me. I didn't say, I've got to turn this shit off. It's not like Mrs. Brown's Boys, it really rubs me up the wrong way. But it was just, eh. Um, it's all available on iPlayer. Watch them if you want. You can binge through them like you're watching a movie. Um, I would say there's better stuff out there to watch. This just felt so middle of the road that it was um, it was very, very dull. Uh, I, there are better comedies that ITV have commissioned and not let carry on that, that they should have done um, in place of this. But I know what they do. It sound, feels like that old thing where they get a comedian or personality and they go we're going to invest in you yeah we'll give you a go on a sitcom we'll give you some tv shows you can head up um the keith lemon train must be running out of um steam and so they're looking to just sort of set someone up as their new go-to comedy entertainer guy and that's you know fair play good good for you ian sterling but this sitcom ain't the um vehicle that is going to going to help you in that respect let me know what you think about it have you watched it do you think it was uh as dull as I thought it was, or did you really like it? I mean, it might really resonate with people. Comedy is something that's very personal. Let's see.